Good morning, dear students. Our lesson today is approximation. Let's hear this story. Ahmed spent his holiday at his village. After his returning, Ahmed's friend asked him about the distance between Cairo and his village. It's 197 kilometer. But Ahmed told him that it's approximately 200 kilometer. In fact, Ahmed is not a liar, but he did a good approximation to the nearest 100. Now we are going to study the rules of approximating numbers. This sign is the sign of approximation and it's called approximately equal. Now we have two groups. The first group is called rich numbers. The rich numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The poor numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We call them rich numbers because they are going to add 1 to the digit beside it. And we call poor numbers because they are not going to give them anything and they are going to keep it as it is. To approximate to the nearest 10, look at the unit's digit. If it's five or more, then add one to the tenth digit and replace the unit's digit by zero. Keep the other digits as they are. For example, in this number, we have 125. The tenth digit is two. And the digit after me is five. So it's rich number that is going to give me one. So I'm going to be three. And I'm going to replace the unit digit with zero. If it's less than five and it's poor number, then replace the unit digit by zero and keep the other digits as they are. Like in 124, the tenth digit is two excellent and we have the four it's less than five and a poor no, it's a poor number so it's going to keep me as i am so i'm going to be two and the digit after me is zero now in drill one i'm going to approximate to the nearest ten who am i i'm the digit underlined Three. What's the digit after me? It's six. Is it rich or poor? It's rich. Excellent. So it's going to give me one. I'm going to be four. And I'm going to write zero instead of the six. So I'm going to be 240. Again, we have 21,395. I want to approximate to the nearest 10. Who am I? I am the digit I want to be approximated. The tens. Excellent. I am the nine. What's the digit after me? Five. So it's going to give me one. I'm going to be ten. Actually, I cannot write the whole ten here. So I'm going to write only just the zero and carry up one. One plus three equal four. And then I'm going to copy the 21 as it is. Don't forget, you are going to write instead of the 5, excellent, 0. So the number after approximation is 21,400. Now we have drill 2 from your school book 2. Approximate to the nearest 100. Now we have 53,824. Who am I? I'm the 100 digit. I am the 8, and the digit after me is 2, and it's very poor, so it's not, it's not going to give me anything. It will keep me as I am, 8, and I'm going to copy the left side as it is, and after me, I'm going to exchange all the digits with zeros. Super. Now, 603,499. I want to approximate it to the nearest 100. Who am I? I am the 4. 
and the digit after me is very rich. So it's going to give me one, and I'm going to be five. I'm going to copy the left side as it is, and I'm going to exchange the digits after me with zeros. Now in drill three, I want to approximate to the nearest thousand. Who am I? I am the thousand digit. I am the six, and the digit after me is very poor. So it's going to keep me as I am. I'm going to be six, and I'm copy. I'm going to copy the left side with seventy-eight, like we did before. And I'm going to exchange the three digits after me with zeros. Now we have 509,900. Who am I? I'm this nine. I'm the digit. And the digit after me is very rich. It's going to give me one also. So I'm going to be 10. Again, I'm not going to write the whole 10. I'm going to write only the zero and carry up one. One plus one equal two, and then copy the five as it is. Don't forget, after me, I'm going to exchange the three digits with three zeros. Drill number four, I'm going to approximate to the nearest 10,000. Who am I? Don't forget, we have here a decimal point, it's a decimal number, and the decimal point. Before the decimal point, we have the unit digit, tens, hundred, thousand, and then ten thousand. After the decimal point, we have tenths. Now, I am the six. The digit after me is very rich, it's five. So it's going to give me one. It's going to exchange me from six to seven. And after me, we have one, two, three, four digits. I'm going to exchange them with zeros. What about the decimal point and the one? I'm going to exchange the one with zero. So if I'm going to put the decimal and then zero, it has no meaning. So I'm going to write it only 70,000. Approximate to the nearest 100,000. Search for the 100,000 digit. Units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So I am the sixth. Ex excellent. Now, the digit after me is five. It's a rich number. So it's going to give me one. It will exchange me to seven. Excellent. I'm going to copy the numbers before me as it is, the 87. And after me, I'm going to exchange all these digits with zero. Super. So I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five, five zeros. Now I'm going to approximate to the nearest whole number. What's the meaning of whole number? Whole number means I'm going to approximate to the nearest unit. Where is the unit? In the decimal number. Before the decimal, this is the unit digit. So if I have 10.1, I'm going to underline the zero and circle the digit after me, which is one. And it's a poor number too. So it's going to keep me as I am. So I'm going to be only 10. 10.0, it's equal to the 10. Now we have a new shape. We have a fraction form or a mixed number. So I have to change this shape to decimal first. Then I'm going to approximate to the nearest whole number. And again, what's the meaning of whole number? It means unit. So I'm going to change 135. Then I'm going to put the decimal. I have only one place after the decimal, and I'm going to write the seven after the decimal point. So here, where is the unit digit or the whole number? It's five. What's the digit after me? It's seven. 
and its a rich number is going to give me one so I'm going to be exchanged by six excellent I'm going to copy the 13 the number will be 136 if I have this mixed number and I don't have 10 in my denominator what am I going to do I have to change this denominator first to 10 or 100 or 1000 so I can change to decimal form. What's the best friend of 5? It's 2, so I'm going to multiply times 2 up and down. Then I'm going to write the decimal form. Then I'm going to search for the whole number, which is the unit. I am the 4, and the digit after me is very rich. It's the 6, and it's going to give me 1, so I'm going to be 5. Keep the digits before me as it is. So I'm going to write the 20. And point 0 again. It has no meaning, so I'm not going to write it. Now to find the result of the following operations. Then the approximation. Then approximate to the nearest 10. I'm going to add the whole numbers. Find the result. Then I'm going to approximate to the nearest 10. Excellent. So who am I? I am the 7. The digit after me is 1. And I'm going to keep me as I am. The number 1 is going to keep me as I am. So I'm going to write the 7. Then I'm going to write 347 as it is. And don't forget to replace the 1 with 0. Now, in subtraction, also you are going to do the same. You are going to subtract the whole numbers together. Then you are going to find the answer. Search for the tens digit. I'm the six. After me is a rich number, which is six also. And it's going to give me one. So it will exchange me to seven. And keep the three digits before me as it is. I'm going to copy it, 308. Then I'm going to write after me the zero. Now we have some examples. We are going to write for you the number after approximation. And you are going to tell me it's approximated to the nearest what? If I have 8,537, after answering it and approximating it, it became... 9,000. So, I approximated this number to the nearest what? Look for the only number I have, which is 9, right? And after the 9, we have three zeros. This 9, in which place? Look, unit, tens, hundred, thousand. So, I approximated to the nearest? Thousand. Excellent. Again. I have another number, 18,098. And after approximation, I found it, 18,000. I'm asking you, this number is approximated to the nearest what? I'm going to search for the last number I have, which is 8. And after the 8, we have three zeros. So I'm going to see which place do we have here unit tens hundred thousand so i've approximated this number to the nearest thousand excellent now in this example we have eight minus three and two hundred twenty eight thousand what am i going to do i have a whole number we have to subtract the whole number minus 3.228 and the answer after finding the answer I'm going to approximate it to the nearest whole number whole number means unit excellent I'm the 4 after me is 7 so I'm going to exchange the 4 to 5 it's going to give me 1 I'm going to be 5 after me I'm going to write 0 .000 any zeros after the decimal, we said before, it's nothing. It has no meaning. 
So I'm going to keep only the five. Now you're going to do your homework in the booklet, page 21, 22, 23, and 24. Thanks a lot.